What's up guys, welcome back to today's video and we are finally putting some new slabs of meat on the GTI, I'm so excited. We have some beautiful looking tires. These are BF Goodrich G-Force Comps. They are 235 40 by 18s and as you know, I have 245 40 by 18. So don't kill me guys, don't, don't get too mad at me that I went with, technically I went with smaller tires. Now I do have hub rings on these wheels to make them fit just cause they're Audi to Volkswagen. So they poke a lot. And I don't know about you guys, I don't love the poke. I don't love that it pokes out this much in the front and in the back. I want more flush, I need more showroom quality. You know boys, we just need a little bit of that showroom quality. So I went with all season performance tires. I mean, these are some of the best tires you're gonna wanna buy. I mean, yeah, you can buy Michelin Pilot Sport 4s. I love Toyo tires as well. But I decided to say screw it and purchase some BF Goodrich. That's like the in-between. Those are like the in-between tires and they're about, they go for about 800 bucks. Those tires are your perfect in-between. Obviously today, once we get them installed, we're gonna drop them off right now. But once we get them installed, we're gonna do a little drive around. I'm gonna see how the fitment looks. And we're also gonna do a little review on how the video, uh, on how that, whew, we're also gonna do a little video and see how, oh my God. We're also gonna see how the tires perform. We're gonna see how they feel, how sticky they are, and really kind of get a good feel on if BF Goodrich tires are good enough. It is freezing rain right now. I am frozen solid. It's also 7.30 in the morning, so good morning to you guys out there. But it is, um, it is not the warmest outside. So I'm gonna set the camera back up on the tripod and we gotta load these bad boys up because we need to take them to the tire shop right now. Also guys, I bought these tires from Fitment Industries. So if you guys want to take a look at any of the inventory within wheels or tires, make sure to check out the link down below. I went with them just because I feel like they're not a basic brand. I thought Town Fair Tire, places like that, that's my local shop. I thought they were kind of basic and I didn't really want a basic set of tires. So I found Fitment Industries and Fitment Industries is a really, really good shop to look at for a wide variety of tires, wide variety of wheels. They even do wheel and tire setups for you. If you purchase a set of wheels and a set of tires, they will mount and balance them and then send them out to you, which is great. And I just feel like that's the perfect shop to go with. If you're looking for a set of tires for your competition car, your drift car, even just your street build car like mine, and it's a really good in between and their prices are really good as well. Also boys, check out the Crocs. What's up with it? Rocking the Crocs in the rain, not a great idea, but I'm doing it anyway. Yeah, that works. Look at that. I fit one tire in my hatch. That was it. As the snow begins to fall, it's turning into snow. Your boy has some new tires on the whip. Take a look at that. And um, so I told you guys earlier that I was uh, trying to get rid of the poke. So it's now later in the day, we got the car back, we got the new tires on. The tires look absolutely awesome. I drove it down the road. We're gonna do some driving a little later on just to see how it goes. The wheels need to be clean. So when I show you this, please don't make fun of me. I, it's winter, you know, I can't really clean it as much as I want to. They look like crap. I need to clean them. And they did swap the fronts to the rear. So the rear wheels now look terrible. But going back to what I was just saying, I said, I wanted to delete the poke. And I was like, I need it to go. I can't, I, I don't need poke. I don't need poke. I, I just, I don't, I don't want it. I want flush. I want clean. Well, that just went right out the window because this is exactly what it looks like. <laughs> and I still have aggressive poke. Look at that. That is meat. That is some meat slabs on the GTI. And to be honest, at this point, I'm getting used to it and I like it. It's got an aggressive stance. I mean, you can just see the tires poking out. I mean, even as you go back more, as I strut back, like look, just, it looks so insane. And I love it. So, moral of the story is, you get a set of wheels, they're a little bigger than you thought, you throw them on the car, you get a little bit of poke, you're not sure if you like it or not, you try it out for a couple months, you get a smaller set of tires to do it, well, 
you might want to go even smaller because uh, <laughs> I underestimated this a lot. But I'm sitting here now and I'm thinking even if I went back to 225s, so the stock wheels on this car come with 225 40 by 18s and those wheels are 18 by seven and a half. These I believe are 18 by eight and a half in the front and then 18 by eight in the rear. So I don't know the pure specs of an Audi S5, but I believe these are 18 by eight and I believe these are 18 by eight and a half. So they have an offset on the wheels. Don't get me wrong, I like them and I love these wheels so much. I was looking to trade them at one point, but I might get these powder coated in like a bronze or a copper. So like, here's what I want you guys to do. Comment down below what color I should powder coat these wheels in. I'm not gonna do it until spring, ish so like march or april just because it's like winter and i don't really feel like getting them dipped right now let me know down below please i am really trying to look for some really flashy really cool colors nothing too nothing neon or anything but just some really nice colors that you guys have done or have experience with you know let me know down below and if you guys have ever gotten your wheels powder coated and you have a gti or golf or any car really at all go to the real speed instagram link always down in the description and send me dms of your wheels all customized because I want to see that. I'm really trying to see what color I would want to do to these because I'm not sick of the silver. I just would like to see something different. But let's do a review on the tires. The tires are meaty. They have a lot of poke. They are aggressive. Uh, G-Force Cops, no, uh, G-Force Cop 2s actually, my bad. They're 235 40 by 18s. And it's, you know what, compared to the other tires, it looks like it's a little less, like a little more low profile, I guess you could say, and a little bit more aggression, like a little bit more wheel, a little bit less tire. So the sidewall, even though it's the same as the other tires, the 40, the sidewalls are more flat. So the sidewalls on the Pirellis were more rounded, so right here it kind of rounded, while in here they're more flat. So it gives it more of a, I guess a flat line look. Not really sure how to explain that, but like, if you guys, I, I hope you guys understand that. But it's pretty much the best looking tires I think I've ever, ever had on this car, on any car that I've ever owned. I mean, these are some of the best tires. These are some of the best tires I think I've ever had. But as you can tell here, the back doesn't poke as much. That's the reason why I'm thinking that it's like that, because that's why I'm thinking that these are smaller than the front door offset. I mean, it could be wrong. They do have hub rings. Don't forget about that. They needed hub rings because they are originally Audi wheels to go over to the Volkswagen. I needed to do that. So, so far driving the car down the road, I gotta wipe the lens. It's got rain on it. Oh, here we go. So, so far driving the car down the road and just kind of like feeling how these tires feel compared to the 245s is it feels a little bit lower because the tires are not as big. So you're definitely sitting a little bit lower again, which is kind of what I like. I'd prefer to sit a little bit lower than higher, but the driving is so much more smooth and so much more enjoyable so far. All right, folks, I'm having my 12 year old brother take a video of the drive-by, so let's see how well this goes. Look how beautiful that is. So we're at like this little pond reservoir thing next to my house, it's really cool. So anyway. Trying to teach the boy a little bit of that cinematics, that video stuff. Want to start him out with something small? So I just picked him up from the bus stop and I said, you know what? You want to help me out really quick? And he's like, yeah. So I figured he's, he just got a GoPro for Christmas, right? Kid, okay, mm -hmm. he's got a GoPro. So he just got a GoPro for Christmas. So he's like starting to learn like all the video stuff and everything. So I was like, you know what? Perfect opportunity to have him like do something, get him off, start off with something. So. I hope you got everything. I'm going to guess you got everything perfectly. Uh, nothing crazy. I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of like what the tires look like rolling and just kind of give a little bit of a perspective of what they look like on a GTI. But overall, they look stunning and I love them so much. But what we got to do is we actually have to do something else for a little bit. We have to do something else because um, my dad bought a new car. <laughs> And he doesn't have it yet. We're going to pick it up tomorrow. I have to detail his old one because tonight he is actually going to Carvana to trade it in. And then he, we're going to the dealership tomorrow to buy the new car. So we're going to get to detail on that. I don't really think I've ever explained what car my dad currently drives. So we're going to get to that. And then 
pretty much just quickly detail it. So my dad drives a 2017 Nissan Maxima SL. So he doesn't drive the SR, he drives the SL. He did not buy the SR because it, it had, so the SR in 2017 was fully loaded besides a sunroof. So this actually comes with a panoramic sunroof and the SR had no sunroof at all. So he said, let me buy the SL. And obviously it's a decent car. I don't like it because of the CVT transmission, but the car itself is actually pretty nice and it's been pretty good to us the last three and a half years. He does have aftermarket wheels, but today, because he's buying a new car tomorrow, which by the way, I'm not telling you what new car he's buying because I'm gonna be doing a review video on it. He's buying a brand new car. So I'm gonna be doing a review video on that soon. So stay tuned for that because that car is really cool. And I'm like super excited to do a review on that. He put his stock wheels back on it this morning. Um, he does have some really nice aftermarket wheels. He just put the snow tires on those that are gonna go on his new car in a couple weeks. But today my goal is I'm going to not do a full detail just because I don't have a garage and it's snowing, but I'm just gonna do a quick detail before we take it to Carvana. Uh, they don't really care about the outside. I'm just gonna make sure the inside's clean. And today we're pretty much gonna be using our Chemical Guys Total Interior Cleaner and Protectant. Um, this stuff works like magic and I like it. So the interior of this car is actually pretty good. You got a flat bottom steering wheel. Steering wheel. You don't have any paddles because it's not the SR, but honestly, why would you want paddles on a CVT anyway? Because the transmission does not shift well. Computerized is terrible. Um, your dash is pretty cool. Not bad. You got like maps you can flip through, which is pretty cool. You know, all that fun stuff. But this car, for being a 2017, doesn't look that bad. You do have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You get an uh, eight inch screen and you get like this cockpit view. So the whole center console kind of starts from the top where the vents are and kind of comes down over the middle so the seat passenger seat is all the way over here instead of it being kind of like this being low and separated from the center console and then your seats kind of like right there it's kind of more of like a cockpit and this is also turned towards you like in the gti so it's kind of like down and i just think it looks really cool it's got really nice bucket seats i mean real premium leather feels really nice you have really good leg room in the back, really big back seats. You have great trunk size, and then you have your pretty much your panoramic sunroof. The only thing is you do have a split off right here, so it's not like a full clear panoramic, but it's pretty close to a panoramic sunroof. All right, step one, let's get the steering wheel clean. So what I always like to do when I clean a steering wheel, and by the way, this stuff works really well on a steering wheel, so I recommend using it. Um, you just spray a little bit on the cloth, go around the steering wheel, nothing crazy. You're gonna do a little quick clean. Um, I don't love the leather on the steering wheel. I don't know what they call it. Um, he does have the perforated leather right here. I don't know what they call this. I don't know if it's faux leather. I'm not sure what they call it. This car is pretty massive, I must say. I mean, this car is pretty big. It's a, it's a boat, it's big, but it's nice. And when you're, literally when you're driving it, your transmission stinks, but the car drives so smooth. That is one thing I will say. So if there's one thing to take away from it, the car drives super smooth. He bought his car at a dealership and then sold this to Carvana because the dealerships were offering like terrible money for this car. And obviously with inflation, everything that's gone on the last couple of years, it's really, really hard to buy a car in general. So it ended up working out perfectly for him and that's not a bad route to go. And it's cool that Carvana will literally just buy your car from you without you saying you're gonna buy a car from them. They'll just take it. And bam, just like that, she's clean, man. Damn, I don't remember the last time I saw this car is clean. All that white stuff you're seeing, that's all from the snowflakes. But I did the best I could with these without having the right equipment. I did pretty good with that. That looks clean. The seats are looking really good, ready to go. Dash and steering wheels all cleaned up, no dirt anywhere. Passenger side is completely cleaned up. All the seats, the whole seat, the carpet looks beautiful, vacuumed and everything. Door trim looks clean. And then the back actually looks immaculate. So he told me that the back wasn't bad, the front was bad. The back was actually worse than the front. And this back looks so clean now. I mean, carpets are clean. Door trims have no dust on it or dirt. I mean, wow, that looks so good. Seriously, I don't remember the last time my one of my dad's cars has looked this good. This looks amazing, but there was dirt everywhere, all under here, it was terrible. So I had to take that little vacuum right there and just dive through everything, and damn. We're gonna finally say goodbye to the Maxima. She's gone, we got a new car tomorrow morning. I'm gonna review that at some point, but overall for 2017, it's a sharp looking car. Not a bad looking vehicle. I mean, really can't go wrong with it. Good daily driver, not bad, but it's gonna be good to move on. Good to see her go, get something new, but Damn, she looks good. And I'm tired, it's snowing, it's cold. 
I've been running around trying to get this car cleaned. I, I wasn't gonna go above and beyond and I did. But good thing is, is she's clean. And that's all that matters. Make sure to go on the website. Make sure to grab a couple of these because you know you gotta keep your car clean, especially through these harsh months of the winter where it's gonna be tough to keep it clean because of the salt and the snow. You guys need to go over there and you need to buy some products to keep your car protected and clean because without a clean and protected car, your car is not nice. You gotta make sure your car looks nice. Oh, 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 oh